Hi guys, how you doing? There are no significant developments right now. We haven't broken any kind of support or resistance level. That's, you know, important to talk about. But uh, it is Sunday. Uh, next week, of course, uh, it's Monday. So, you know, volatility is going to hit. It's also been 14 October already. You know, the dump date that we've been talking for a while. Unfortunately, we did not dump. And I say unfortunately because, the, you know, we are kind of hoping that, you know, the moons are going to play in our favor. So, you know, shorting and stuff like that, that didn't happen. But I did not calculate that uh, the 14 October is going to be on a Saturday. So, you know, there is no volatility. But the 14 October is on a Saturday. Today is Sunday. So Monday comes. So if you fail to dump right now, I think we can remain bullish for a longer term. Now, as you can see here on the channel, we are on the bottom of the channel down here. And this move has not yet happened. So there are both good news and bad news. And uh, if we're going to dump... There is things that we can actually look at and uh, see the weakness in the price before we actually dump. So before we actually go below the channel over here and dump on the downside, if that's going to happen, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but if that's going to happen, there will be weakness in the price and we will see that on the chart. Right now, what's happening over here in this channel is that we are on the bottom of the channel. We are getting support by the 50 moving average. So everything is nice and dandy. Unfortunately, we are on the bottom of the channel on a channel that going towards upside by default. This is a bearish channel towards downside. So, you know, I don't see yet quite yet any kind of bullish strength in the price on the small time frames. I'm going to show you small time frames over here on a five minute time frame up here. What's happening right now, as you can see up here, maybe on one hour time frame. Uh, there was this smaller channel up here that we are right now breaking towards upside. So we're going to look at that. And uh, before we actually if you're going to dump before we actually do that, uh, I want to see uh, I want to see some kind of breakdown down over here. Uh, and that's going to be before we actually get out of the, this bigger channel that we uh, uh, that I've been looking at. So this bigger channel over here. Sorry about that. Still having the crappy uh, keyboard over here. Uh, so before the, that actually happens, we are looking for some kind of weakness in the price over here to get rejected, to go down there, and then the dump is going to come. Whether that's going to happen tonight, whether that's going to happen tomorrow, I do not know. I'm still a little bit more bearish than bullish because I haven't actually seen, uh, you know, bullish uh, price action right now yet. So I'm still remaining a little bit bullish, uh, bearish. Uh, and I'm thinking that there is a very good probability for this move towards downside or downside over here. Now let's go to the small time frames and see what's actually happening down there. And we're going to look at one hourly time frame. There are a couple of lines up here uh, after we started. Let me just remove the moving averages for a second over here. And as you can see here, this first downtrend uh, over here that we had the, the big dump start going sideways over here. Uh, we broke that over here. We went over sideways a little bit up here, got a little bit rejected up here. And then we broke that as well. Right now we're coming above here and it does look like we both managed to get out of this uh, channel over here towards the upside and as well uh, above this line up here. So there is slight bullishness on the small time frames. Not quite yet where we should be. Let me just go a little bit back in time so we can remove the line so I don't have to, you know, click and remove them. So where were we? Where were we? Over here. Okay, let's do it like this over here and remove this line over here. So there is slight bullishness on the short term time frames, but not enough. And you can see up here also these tops up here and uh, this uh, price section over here is, uh, you know, we are at some kind of resistance level. So even though we are out of this channel over here towards upside, uh, we are still not quite where we should be. I mean, this is small time frames. You look at the four hourly time frames. We are not even above the 50 moving average over here. So, you know, it is a little bit early, but this does look nice and hopeful that, you know, I would say this is one of the first signs, you know, for bullish bulls or bullish sentiment to kick in. Uh, let me just remove everything over here. We, what you're also going to see here is that uh, these stops up here, these stops up here, uh, these stops up here and this, uh, you know, uh, level of support over here is right now getting broken. So, yes, we are out of this, uh, you know, accumulation range, if you can call it that on the four hourly time frame and we are breaking towards upside. There is some kind of bullishness, but, you know, there is still 50 moving average over here. And there's probably other resistance level that needs to be broken. But this is still small time frames. But I would say that if this stays like this over here for the next, you know, 40 minutes over here and we manage to break the resistance level up here, there is a very good chance to test the 50 moving average, maybe even break that and see how we actually move towards upside. On the other hand, if you see any kind of, you know, movement below these levels over here, this is around uh, uh, this resistance level around, let's say 27K. 
up here. If you see movement, uh, you know, uh, below uh, back getting rejected by 27k, maybe even going below down here, that's somewhere at, uh, you know, 26.7 give or take. If you see any kind of movement towards downside, I would say that will be initial sign of weakness where we are actually breaking below the support levels and moving towards downside. And then this bigger channel comes in, into the play on the daily time frame, right? Uh, because if you start getting rejected up here, uh, that's uh, 70.2, 70, 70.2, we can go a little bit higher than that. If you start getting any kind of rejection over here and start going back towards the 50 moving average, I would consider that sign of weakness and I would be looking, you know, for this, if this can, is actually going to break uh, towards downside. Worst case scenario right now, it's not this daily candle over here, but, you know, it's today and tomorrow as well. So, you know, whether, you know, dump comes on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, I do not know. But if we break, start breaking below the 50 moving average on the daily time frame and the channel also over here, yeah, I don't think, the, you know, if there is going to be a big dump, it's not going to be a big dump from over here. It's going to be closed down here somewhere. And then the big dump after that uh, comes, right? We uh, break towards downside, start, you know, getting back up there again. And then the big dump comes. So I'm afraid of this big dump. Uh, I have been afraid of the 14 October. That is the solar eclipse that's happened. It came on a Saturday. Uh, so it did not uh, come, uh, you know, on a, on a very good day, like Monday or Tuesday, where you can have a volatility kicking in. But it came on a Saturday, so you know I'm still you know waiting for this to pass and see how this is gonna play out. I cannot remain uh, you know bullish because over here, as you can see, the 200 moving average on the daily time frame got us rejected a couple of times over here, and we are right now on the bottom of the channel. Now, of course, supports are to be long, and this is actually a very good place to be uh, start becoming bullish when everybody is fearful that we're gonna break towards downside. Uh, and oftentimes when I am bearish, it's probably some kind of bottom, but I'm not that bearish just yet, right? So I'm looking for this channel over here to see how this is going to unfold, how this is going to play out. But we are on the bottom of the channel. We should be more bullish than bearish. But I'm, uh, you know, because of the 14th of October, I am a little bit, you know, on the bearish side. Uh, and I still believe, unfortunately, unfortunately, I still believe too much in the moons. And I'm thinking that, you know, maybe, just maybe this uh, this might actually still play out and go towards downside. Uh, bigger time frames up here, weekly time frame is uh, not that optimistic either. Uh, let me just, uh, I think this is, uh, this over here was the daily time, uh, time frame. This is just the bottom of the channel line. Over here, you can see here that we are on that bottom line. But, you know, we are getting squeezed up here between the 50 and the 200 moving average. So, at, you know, we either have to get above the 50, uh, sorry, 200 moving average to become strongly bullish or, you know, we're going to become strongly bearish if it goes back below the 50 moving average down here. Uh, but the weekly time frame is not actually that optimistic either because over here we came to the weekly 200 moving average, got rejected with the doji. This is a mo uh, evening doji startup here. We are still trying to hold this, uh, this, this, uh, uh, this 10 moving average over here, the white line, uh, trying to close above that. Uh, we still got the 50 moving average below us down here. So if it starts dumping closing here on the weekly time frame tonight below the 10 moving average, this might as well just go all the way down to the 50 moving average down here somewhere at around 25k, give or take these bottoms down here. That would be a very major level of support. Another major level of support is on the weekly time frame is of course these uh, bottoms down here at 25.8, 25.9, give or take. Uh, so, you know, do I see the move down here to be likely? I mean, that can still happen but you know we need to get out of the channel where is the channel again we need to get out of the channel first and before we actually get the, the, that dump down here maybe to 25k level or something like that uh, there will be a sign of weakness on the small time frames first over here and then th there will be some kind of closure below these lines and then I think the dump might actually come towards downside not quite yet bullish and there is of course not again uh, there hasn't been any significant development on the bitcoin front but uh, still keeping a little bit bearish momentum uh, sorry bearish uh, you know sentiment and uh, we just need to wait wait and see how monday tuesday is going to play out and hopefully it does you know i uh, hopefully i am wrong and we do go towards upside we do go towards upside up here. This is a very nice move. It was very, you know, fast move towards upside up here. But, you know, to, hopefully this continues a little bit more towards upside. It shows some kind of bullishness, you know, so it can change the change a little bit sentiment. Break some, you know, important resistance level. The fact that we are on the small time frames breaking this, you know, you can say call this uh, rising, you know, triangle towards upside. This is actually quite nice. But I'm still fearful that, you know, even this rally towards upside is just going to get rejected and we're going to, you know, fall again towards downside. 
again, next week is gonna be exciting. The 14th of October is past. We don't have anything left left until we come to uh, you know having at least that's where the the thing is. So just update your you know our moon map. And of course, you can see over here that you know we have been having uh, some kind of target here at uh, 46k. Now that didn't play out, uh, and I am uh, the longer this actually go goes on, I have a less and less faith in actually coming uh, by by the you know 14 October, 14 October new moon solar eclipse, uh, and right now we are at solar eclipse, and we you know this didn't play out the way I actually thought. So you know, losing faith in the moons, losing faith in the solar eclipses as well. So, you know, you know, I think the astrology part of this channel is kind of done. So, you know, we need to find something else. And somebody suggested Fibonacci, so maybe that's going to be the next big thing. So, as you can see on the chart up here, the next major event is the fourth of the... Uh, sorry, it's uh, March 2024. That's a uh, fourth halving on Bitcoin. So, you know, we got, a, we got a whole bunch of, you know, waiting left until that happens in more than half a year. But, you know, the target up here is still, you know, 2025 is somewhere up there. Uh, you know where the top is gonna uh, play how this gonna, part over here is gonna play out uh, we, I'm a little bit unsure whether we're gonna you know wait for a super moon cycle between 17 October and 1st of December 2024 again and uh, whether we're gonna put our money on the moons again over here but you know that's still to be seen that's still to be seen anyways guys thanks for watching just a quick update on what's happening not really much, but, you know, since it's sub Sunday and, uh, you know, the next week's coming, the Monday, Tuesday, stuff like that, right? So, you know, just uh, update you on, you know, my thoughts, what I'm looking at. And uh, it's it's not much. It's not much, but, you know, you know that, that's, what, that's what we got. That's what we got. I mean, you know. Where is my outro? I'll see you around, guys. Bye-bye.